Hey, what's going on everyone? So, I had a different beach today, but it's a little bit of a chilly day. But today we're gonna to talk about why the FIRE movement, which is Financial Independence Retire Early, doesn't have to be as sad as what everyone says it needs to be. So that's exactly what we're gonna talk about in today's video. Now, first off, if you are new here, welcome. My name is Colton Lukey, and this is Passive Income Living, where we talk about real estate investing, stock market investing, cryptocurrency investing, and financial freedom, financial independence in general. The reason for that is my wife and I were able to reach financial independence by the ages of 28. So we wanna help those of you who wanna reach your financial goals sooner with the tips and the tricks and what we've learned over the last six, seven years. So if that does interest you, smash the like button, click subscribe, keep watching. So a lot of people who talk about financial independence, retire early, the FIRE movement, they talk about how you have to pretty much live like a hermit, not spend any money, not have any fun for five, 10, 15 years. And after those five, 10, 15 years, you have sacrificed so much that you can finally retire. Well, I don't think that's true because I definitely don't feel that way. When I look back at the journey my wife and I have been on, again, for the last six, seven, eight years, we have done so much before we actually reached financial independence. And just to give you guys an idea, you know, we flew to Orlando to go to Disney World, went to California, went to Mexico on multiple vacations. We went to Colombia on multiple vacations. We went to Japan. We went to Peru to see Machu Picchu, Rainbow Mountain. We saw the Toronto Raptors, which was a dream come true for me, game one of the NBA Finals. We've done a lot before we actually reached financial independence. And although we did sacrifice on some things, if you call it that, we still enjoyed our 20s. I think more than most people. We just prioritize what we wanted to do. Where a lot of people in their 20s are going out to clubs and getting drunk and, you know, buying Louis Vuitton purses. We instead wanted something different. We wanted to see the world, eat delicious food, and accomplish our dreams. So I really do think that it just depends on what your goals are. And I think if you're a person in or wanting to be financially independent at an early age, your goals are probably very similar to those who have already reached financial independence. You know, we don't care so much about the Prada or the Louis or the Gucci or the BMW or the Mercedes. We care more about experiences because we're trying to reach financial independence to get our time back and to live life on our own terms. So one thing that we did that allowed us to do all that traveling was we learned absolutely everything we could about travel rewards, right? So we signed up for the travel point cards like the American Express and the Aeroplan cards. And we used hundreds of thousands of points to travel essentially for free around the world. And that's what we still do today. Actually, um, by the time this video is probably released, we're gonna be in Hawaii, which we only paid about $150 in taxes and fees. The rest was all with points. Now, obviously, as real estate investors, we have a lot of money coming in, but we also have a lot of money going out. So anytime throughout the year, we might get five or six new credit cards and we're just getting those travel points, but we're actually using those travel points. We're learning how those travel points work so they can go the farthest. This did not cut into our financial freedom journey at all. If anything, it actually helped us because it gave us more motivation to continue doing what we're doing so we can travel even more. So doing things like that definitely, definitely make you, while on your early retirement journey, not feel such like a hermit, right? So I hate to, I hate these videos where these guys who are these girls who are in their 40s and 50s and 60s and 70s saying the fire movement doesn't work. Uh, to be honest, I think they're just pissed off because they didn't discover it sooner. 
or that they didn't implement strategies when they were younger. Because it is possible. My wife and I did it. We know many other people who have done it. And we did not live like hermits. And neither really did them, did they? Because there are so many tools available to us nowadays. You just have to put the time in, you just have to do the research and you can experience the most you want out of life while also reaching your financial goals. If you guys take a look at this, beautiful, isn't it? A little cold day, beautiful house right there overlooking the ocean. That is the open ocean right there. This is the east coast of Canada. This is Nova Scotia. We moved here last year and by far one of the best, best decisions we made, not just from a lifestyle aspect, but uh, in investing, right? We moved here for the main reason to take advantage of the real estate opportunities that are here and the business opportunities. But to get back on the topic of, you know, fire doesn't have to be as sad as what people make it seem there were certain sacrifices if you call it that for example we lived in a duplex property a house with two units where we lived in the basement for i think three years the basement apartment that we designed by the way and we rented out the upstairs and we were living for free we were getting paid to live because those tenants were paying our mortgage this is the same exact thing as that if you're living in a condo where you have people on top of you, you have people beside you, you have people underneath you. So to us, it wasn't really a difference, but it got us to our goal quicker. And then after that two and a half, three years, whatever it was, we moved upstairs and we rented out the basement where then I would say 85% of our bills from that house were covered. So we still practically live for free. So if you call that a sacrifice, I guess we did sacrifice. Did we miss some events because we just didn't think they aligned with our goals? Yeah, of course, but again, Colombia, Mexico, Peru, Japan, all these countries along with all these other great memories we had, we did instead of just going to that party or going to that event. It, uh, it really just comes to prioritizing what it is you guys wanna do and just staying focused, really. And FIRE, if that is your goal and you wanna reach financial independence as soon as you can, then there will be sacrifices, but you have so many options available to you today that people didn't have 10, 15, 20 years ago. So hope you guys got a little bit more insight of why the fire movement isn't as bad or isn't as much of a sacrifice or as sad as what a lot of people show and say. Hope you guys got value from that. And if you did again, smash the like button for YouTube algorithm. Click subscribe and if you guys do want to learn more about real estate investing, stock market investing, financial freedom, check out the videos in front of you. I'll see you there.